There's a problem within the walls of this school. No, I'm not talking about that dirty rat weasel kid named Henry, though, like, who keeps letting him in here every morning, these doors lock for a reason. No, I'm talking about, like, 50 other kids. Or, rather, a lack of 50 other kids. Not many people are really aware of the fact, but over the past year and a half, there's kind of been a little, little bug floating around making people sick. Now, this has caused a number of issues, and people aren't really comfortable getting blown on anymore. And you know what really blows? Bands. And it sucks, too, if you play the footage in reverse. Many people feel that band and choir class are potential super spreader events with everybody spewing their air everywhere. It's an automatic like red flag for people singing, playing an instrument that's a wind instrument, not necessarily an orchestra instrument. Because of this, there's way less people in a road and band. I've had up to 180 at the school. Recently, we've been around 130, 120. 140, somewhere in there. And since we all had to quarantine, many people fell out of practice because band class isn't exactly the easiest thing to do online. Those who did keep practicing throughout quarantine lost what band director Mike Jones called institutional memory. Someone who's gone through band sophomore through senior year kind of knows how band goes, and all of a sudden it shut down for basically, you know, two years. Mm. The institutional memory of how we do things around here has to be retaught. And so things are kind of going slower okay. than what we quote unquote normally do. But the kids are doing great. They just, it's just where we are. The class is suffering somewhat. I don't want to overstate it, but COVID has taken its toll. Are there many solutions that you're brainstorming to get more kids to enroll? Um, well, the pandemic's got to get over. Yeah. That's for, that's the biggest one. Not on my watch, Michael. I'll be going out to the front line and I'm going to try to recruit some new people into band by enticing them with a tasty little prize. All they have to do is sign this contract with this weird and creepy oath on the back that they're going to be signing to. Oh, wait, never mind, this is just the Pledge of Allegiance. Well, anyways, it's a totally legally binding contract that they're signing and it'll totally enroll them in band. Let's get out there, boost those band class numbers back up to normal and just start rascaling around, why don't we? For you. Don't even read that. That doesn't even matter at all. You don't even have to. You don't even have to sign the contract and you can get one. Amen. Yes, you go. You want some? Sign this uh, legally binding contract. What explains what the contract you're signing is? Don't you, you, don't need, even, you don't have to think. Don't you need about, you don't one have of to those? think about. <laughs> yeah, you get Scooby Snacks. Yeah. Just sign it, man. Yeah. Don't even think about it. Probably a trap. It's probably a survey oh. thing here. Like people will really sign anything just to get Scooby Snacks. <laughs> Anybody else want one? Oh. All right, so I'm kind of out of Scooby Snacks, so you can have an onion. I ran out of Scooby Snacks, dude. What are you gonna do with the onion? Why are you gonna sign it? You can eat the onion. It's an onion. Take a bite of the onion. You won't. I'll take a bite of the onion. Yeah. Oh, How is it? I hate onions. 